It seems like just a few months ago, I was making a video on the Infinix Note 10 Pro. Oh, wait, it was just four months ago. And here is Infinix already releasing its successor. Someone should tell them to calm down. Anyway, this is the Infinix Note 11 Pro. And seeing that it's not too far off from the Note 10 Pro, is it worth upgrading if you have the Note 10 Pro? Should you buy the Note 11 Pro? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything you should know about the Infinix Note 11 Pro to find out if it's worth it for you. My name is Yudi. I talk about tech. Let's shoot. So, before we begin, do me one favor. Give this video a like by hitting the like button. That will help with the YouTube algorithm so more people will get to see this video. I do have chapters of this video as table of contents in the description below. You can check them out so you can skip to any part of this video you'd like. Let's start with the design and build quality of the Infinix Note 11 Pro. It's a well-built device. It has a plastic frame and a textured plastic array, somewhat similar to the Note 10 Pro. The Note 11 Pro is available in three colors, that's Mithril Grey, Haze Green and Mist Blue. There is no water or dust resistance, so keep that in mind. To the right side of the Infinix Note 11 Pro, we see the volume rockers and the power button which also doubles as a fingerprint sensor. At the left side is the dual SIM card slot plus memory card slot. At the bottom is the headphone jack, the primary microphone, USB Type-C ports and the mono speaker grill. Now at the back of the phone we see some Infinix branding and a triple camera setup. I know it looks like 4 cameras but it's just 3. One of the cameras is just a black spot that Infinix puts there. By the way, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it. The Note 11 Pro has a massive display. It's a 6.95 inch 120Hz 1080p LCD display. Same size and resolution as the Note 10 Pro 90Hz display. So 120Hz being the upgrade on the Note 11 Pro. Thanks to the new chipsets which made the 120Hz possible on the Note 11 Pro, the MediaTek Helio G96, which is an upgrade from the MediaTek Helio G95 chipset. The G95 would be slightly better for gaming, that's on the Note 10 Pro. But the G96 on the Note 11 Pro is better in every other way. It supports faster storage, supports Bluetooth 5.2, supports 120Hz displays as I mentioned earlier, and it also takes better pictures. The Infinix Note 11 Pro is running Android 11 on XOS 10, an Android skin with tons of features. It's powered by a 5000 mAh battery capable of 33 watts of fast charging. Now lastly, the cameras. We have a total of 4 cameras on the Infinix Note 11 Pro, that's 3 at the back and 1 up front. A 64 megapixel main sensor, same one on the Note 10 Pro, 13 megapixel telephoto, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Now it's capable of shooting 1440p video, that's 2K at 30 frames per second on the rear camera, while on the selfie camera it's capable of 1080p video recording. So as expected, the Infinix Note 11 Pro is a minimal upgrade from the Note 10 Pro. It still has the same screen size, the same 5000 mAh battery, the same 33 watts of fast charging. It even still has the same main rear camera, the 64 megapixel sensor. The only difference is the 120Hz display and the new Helio G96 chipset, which is slightly better than the G95 but slightly worse gaming performance. So if you have the Note 10 Pro, I don't think it's worth it to upgrade. You are basically buying the same phone but with a new chipset. But if you are in the market for a new phone, a brand new phone, the Infinix Note 11 Pro is a good buy, great specs at a competitive price point. By the way, the Infinix Note 11 Pro will cost you $250 or $139,000 for 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Anyway, do let me know what you think of the Infinix Note 11 Pro. Do you consider it to be your next phone? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, give the video a like and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it so you get notified when I upload a new video just like this one. My name is Yudi, this is Yudi Shoes, thank you so much for watching and you see me in my next video.